All right, on this one, I'm going to bring in an object from Cinema 4D. And again, I've already gone through and tracked this footage. Again, just a five second clip. And we have the tracking points there. Uh, just like I did earlier, I'm going to select some points on this plane here so that I have a plenty of information there and um, this one I'm going to put right here and uh, so on the target at this point once I have the target I'm going to right click on it and the first thing that I need to do is set the ground plane in origin this is information that Cinema 4D is going to use so that's why the first thing I need to do is set the ground plane in origin set that and now what we'll do is we'll go back in and this time I'm going to create null in camera set that and so we have our camera there and then we have that null right there now I'm going to import the Cinema 4D file in that I, I've uh, created or that I have ready and It is a Gatling gun. I'm going to put a Gatling gun on the side of this van. Just something to... So once that Cinema 4D file is in After Effects, going to drag it down, drop it in here on top, and there's the Gatling gun. All right, that is definitely not oriented the way that we want it to be oriented. Um, but you can see the plane there and the gun. So what we need to do is in the Cineware soft software plug-in here uh, we're going to come down to the project settings the camera is what we need to adjust right now it's using the Cinema 4D camera the camera that's in Cinema 4D and then our options there are to select a Cinema 4D camera centered comp camera and these the first two talk about what the camera that's in uh, Cinema 4D what we want is we want um, this object to use the camera that's in after Effects. So these second two, or number three and four here, they refer to the camera in After Effects. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm not going to use the center comp camera because it's not, uh, does not line up correctly. And we're going to use the comp camera. Click on that and it adjusts. And you can see now that um, the anchor point for this object is matching up. You can see that little red dot right there. Uh, matching up to our track null and that's where we want it to be now we can do a little bit of work to position this a little bit better um, but the gun is in there uh, to do that I'm actually I already have this open in uh, Cinema 4D and I'm going to rotate this so I can get a little bit better view of it the way that it's kind of lined up on that on the car there and just so I have an idea so now I need to move it down and with the Gatling gun select it go to coordinates and we're gonna move this in Z space down just a little bit and always when I make an adjustment in Cinema 4D I need to save that so I'm gonna save this file and now jump back over into After Effects. It should update. Okay, it's a lot closer, but I want it to sit a little bit lower beneath that right there. I'm going to go back to Cinema 4D, drag it down just a little bit more, and save that again so that it will update in After Effects. Jump back over, and that's going to be good for right now. Um, one thing about this, I'm going to go back to my Cinema 4D file and I need to get back to the effects controls. Um, right now it's software rendering and so that's why we're still getting our grid there. So what we need to do is change the renderer. We can take a look at it first of all in um, standard draft and let that render out just to see how um, it's holding up as far as being attached to the car and looking like it is part of the car as far as the motion goes. 
so I went ahead and let that render out and you can see um, I did drop it down to half res right here so the gun looks a little more uh, pixelated um, but you can see what we're trying to get is the the motion the movement to see if this looks like it's slipping any um, if it's hanging on in there and the nice thing about this being a 3d object when working with cinema 4d you're getting a little bit of parallax in there with a um, camera move as it kind of rotates a little bit around that van so it looks really nice all right um, so that's great with standard standard draft now we can go to standard final and take a look at it and this is where you'd really want to start evaluating um, uh, any type of color correction uh, and color matching um, I'm not going to go over that right now but you can see that that gun is in there and that is the way we match up or bring a cinema 4d file into after effects and tell it to use the camera that is in after effects again that is by going to comp camera right there and you're good to go.